Exclusive Excluded, a poem by Jubal Johnson. And I heard a voice saying, you thought I was altogether like you, that I actually was you and your idealized, fanciful thoughts of me, about me, the ones you wanted to have concerning me, you projecting you onto me, creating a noble, sentimental idol of me for yourself, your bright idea of who I am, not the real me, but an invention of comfort for you, an escape route from the truth formed in that inward place, made by the hands of your nimble, willing mind, ready to escape the true me for a less jealous, commanding love, unready, unwilling to step into the flame of my all-consuming love, where your convenient, fanciful notions of me are eclipsed by the sun, my fire burning away all that is untrue, unreal, not me, not of me, for my ways and my thoughts are not like yours, as high as the heavens from the earth are they, a very long distance indeed, my ways past finding out, and yet you thought you found them completely out and in, when I am the stuff of heaven, eternity, when you had forgotten your own meager frame, that you are but dust, for I am altogether unlike you in so very many ways. There is no delusion, lying illusion, and self-deception, darkness in me at all, none, for I am pure light, and I dwell in purest, unapproachable light, which only the truly contrite and broken are allowed to come near, their flesh seared away by my holy flames. Only by way of atoning blood, clearest love, water like a flood, and then purging fire, the heart unhampered by fierce pride and insistent desire, for your God is an all-consuming funeral prior. No flesh to glory ever in my direct presence. All who try to approach me on their own terms like a thief out for hire, trying to come up some other way other than mine, the way of the three great fires, the brazen, the blood, the candlestick, the oil, the incense, true, sincere, real worship of me, the completely yielded life, will, and heart given fully over to me, and then they can come. The entrance, the entrance has been that they might come and dance around my fire in sheer joy.